Ah, yes, welcome back to Monday. And Monday, at least here on the channel, means it's countdown day. And today we're going to be looking at, as voted on by fans all across social media, the top 10 Transformers martial artists. That's going to be our focus this time around in the latest Gothbot Counts Down. Hey, one hey all, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, your most humble of hosts, Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. Gotbot. As always, please like, comment, share, of course, subscribe, and while you're at it, let them up, baby. <coughs> Hit that notification bell, please. It helps me out a ton, and it lets you know when content of all sorts goes up here on the channel. Check out Machinery of Man, the Everything Factor, all the groups that I'm either a mod or an admin for, as well as all of my social media links. All that in the description down below. Also in the description down below, and if you're in a position to help the channel to grow... You can use the donate link, check us out on Patreon, see what we have to offer to you through Spring, or of course hit the join button right here on YouTube and become a channel member. And there were a lot of votes cast for this one, and it got kind of confusing. So let me kind of clarify here, because there was debate from people, right? First, martial arts refers to many forms of combat. Some include, we'll say accessories. Some do not and rely solely on hand-to-hand, -hand, right? Um, I'm not going to be laying out all of the different combat um, training and stuff that different bots have had. I don't know it. I'm not a martial artist, and I'm not able to pick it apart like that. I'm not, I'm not that guy. But in an age of uh, like mixed martial arts and martial arts combat being a popularized thing, it was an interesting question that was posed by a couple of fans, and I said, you know what, why don't we do it this week? Sec so I kind of like left it as broad open as possible. I'll explain as we go through. Second, there were people who debated the inclusion of Nightbird. Now, I did include her. I will explain an alternate as we get closer to uh, her. I'm not going to lie. She's on the list somewhere. Uh, but I had to bring that up because when people debate, oh, that can't count, this can't count, guess who decides what does and doesn't count? This guy, no one else. Uh, so I'm going to kind of just throw those couple of caveats out there before we get started, right? It's an interesting list. It is a very interesting list. So without any further ado, let's look at our honorable mentions. And we have four honorable mentions. The first is Windblade because of her, um, uh, like, I guess, swordsmanship, sword, swords, bot ship. Uh, ability. She's she's good with a sword, right? She's really good with a sword. Plus, she's very agile. She's obviously had combat training. Um, Bay vs. Optimus Prime, specifically, the the couple of votes there really relied on his iterations in Age of Extinction and The Last Knight. I would argue he was more of a knight than a martial artist, but he's obviously a skilled combatant. Um, Prime RC, I thought that was an interesting one to get some votes. And IDW Wing, not a character I know, but I'll tell you this. If you have a problem with Nightbird, then consider IDW Wing at the number 10 slot. And when we get to Nightbird, just skip her over. Simple as that. But officially based on the votes, those are the honorable mentions. Since they didn't make the list, uh, unless you're taking out Nightbird and replacing it with, with Wing. Outside of that, because they didn't make the list, we're going to do what we usually do, and we're going to kick things off with the official voted on number 10 first. Coming in at number 10 was very unexpected to me, and it's this character. Yeah, it's jazz. Specifically the War for Cybertron jazz, or the Aligned Continuity jazz, though there were several who voted for the animated jazz as well. So I kind of mashed them together. I didn't really see anything that explained just what um, jazz's actual training is, but apparently the kind of going story is that he was a very happy-go-lucky type of guy. Once the war started, he started to learn a number of different uh, combat styles and meshed them all together because nobody would expect him to be as skilled and as dangerous as what he actually is because of his kind of um, friendly, uh, cool, smooth demeanor, right? Who knew that behind that is a skilled, ferocious combatant? I would say 
that um, because of the vagueness of it, it allows a lot of storytellers to kind of interpret Jazz's abilities to suit their own needs, whether that's using uh, martial arts um, tools or whether it's using his own hand-to-hand -hand combat. Any way you cut it, and whatever styles Jazz actually knows, he is a skilled combatant, and he took the number 10 slot. Coming in at number 9 is very simple, and it's this guy. Yeah, Star Saber. And everybody who voted for Star Saber said the exact same thing. He is a skilled swordsman. He knows how to wield um, his sword with like expert, exquisite precision. Um, and again, some people question, would that make him a martial artist? Swords are traditionally used um, in a number of martial arts and a number of different blades. So I allowed it to be included here because a swordsman with the skill that Star Saber has could stand up against anybody in any combat. Yes, I think it counts as a martial art, maybe not so much hand to hand, but it definitely uh, you know, comes within the ballpark and Star Saber, based on the votes, was able to take the number nine slot. Number eight is another simple one and it's this guy. Yeah, who expected to see Sideswipe on the list? Two words, Jet Judo. Boom. Done. Moving on. Number seven is one of the most fearsome and dangerous of all Decepticons, but also one who gets overlooked a lot because of his kind of zany name. And it's this guy. Yeah, Bond's Eye-Tron. Look, his bio is very clear. He is a master of not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, but seven. Ironically, since he took the seventh spot, seven different martial arts. He is one of the most underrated and most dangerous of all Decepticons. A martial art artist clearly seven times over took the number seven slot. Number six is most often described as, well, a Decepticon ninja, and it's this guy. Yeah, six shot. I mean, it's hard to argue with um, including him here because he's obviously a martial artist if he's a Decepticon ninja. Apparently he has trained in a number of techniques and has adapted those techniques so that he can utilize his six modes to all be attack modes. He really doesn't have a defense mode. He has a pure on attack mode and he is very skilled in all six of his forms and all of the modes of combat that he has learned over the years. Decepticon Ninja Six Shot takes the number six slot. And here we are once again at the most coveted of locations, the halfway mark. And at the halfway mark, we have a very interesting entry. This is a character that, well, he kind of trains the Cyber Ninja Core. He runs the Cyber Ninja Dojo. He's a master of seven uh, martial arts, including Circuit Sue, Diffusion, and... Of course, Metallicato, I'm talking about this guy. Yeah, Yotron. I mean, he runs a dojo. He's a master of seven. He's called Master Yotron. He trained Animated Prowl. What more do you need? Yotron, yeah. He took the number five slot. Now, number four is the most controversial entrant, perhaps, on the list, and it's this character. I talked about this earlier. I said if you don't want Nightbird on your list because you're like, she was human created and all of this nonsense, then that's fine. Replace, like take her out and you put Wing in. Not at the number four slot. Wing would take the number 10 slot, but everybody else would move up one. Right? Make sense? Follow me? Good. But I allowed the vote here because she has a Masterpiece Transformer that does transform. She had a uh, Legends one that does transform. She had a War for Cybertron version that transforms. And she's even got an upcoming version that does transform in Rise of the Beasts. While her original iteration was human created, the character since has really been retconned to be a Decepticon ninja that does transform. Do I agree with it? Eh, that's iffy. That's a debate for another day. However, several fans jumped right to her. That was the gut reaction. Decepticon, or sorry, Transformer, martial artist, boom. The ninja known as Nightbird, and she took the number four slot. Number three is a character that a lot of people expected to take number one, and it is the master of Metallicato, this guy. 
yeah, Bludgeon. I mean, Bludgeon is a samurai. He is very skilled with a sword. By the way, speaking of samurai, that is a, a word that was applied to Star Saber earlier on as well. They said his training with his sword was samurai training. Um, I don't know for sure, honestly. I didn't bother to look that up, but I could believe it because of being such a master swordsman. Again, when it comes to uh, Bludgeon, we know that he's a Metallicado master. We know how skilled and dangerous he is with his blades. And he even has the look wearing a samurai helmet on top of his skull head. What more do you need? Bludgeon, he easily took the number three slot. Speaking of samurai, speaking of swordsmen, number two is this guy. Actually, actually, to be fair, I put a number of variations of Drift together. There were votes that came in for his live-action uh, movie franchise version. There were votes that came in for the R.I.D. 2015. There were votes that came in for the I.D.W. version. And I, I put them all together. Those who voted, by the way, for the uh, 2015 R.I.D. version also hoped, wanted to include his mini-cons. I get that because they were Drift's trainees. However... The rule is one person, one vote. So they couldn't be included, but I respect people trying to include them. Um, yeah, Drift. I mean, we all know he lives by a code of honor. We all know that he is a samurai master. We all know that he trains others in the ways that he was trained in. A quintessential martial artist, any version that you encounter of him. It's hard to argue with Drift. Any version appearing on the list, and fans felt the same way. Enough that he was able to take the number two slot. And now we reach the top of the heap. He who is number one and blew everybody else clear out of the water and it's this guy. Animated Prowl. Come on. He is a cyber ninja who was trained by Yoktron. Um, Prowl style is a mix of Metallicato and Circuit Sue. Um, but even spiritually, he is a martial artist who has an affinity for Earth's nature because it speaks to the spiritual side rather than the combative side of the martial arts. Uh, he is both physically, when it comes to battle, and internally, spiritually, in his spark, in his core. He is a quintessential martial artist. Animated Prowl easily by far took the number one slot. And that's it, 10 down to one. And there were a lot who got votes um, that I thought were very interesting. World got some votes, Bugly did. Um, Bayverse uh, B got some votes. R.I.D. 2001 Roll Bar got some votes. Um, Transmetal 2 RC, I thought that was an interesting one. Um, Shattered Glass Soundwave got some votes. Uh, Kickback, Rat Trap, even Ratchet got a vote for hit that sidekick that he gave to um, Thundercracker. Um, Cup got some votes, uh, mostly because of his bare knuckle boxing. Somebody said, hey, there's bare knuckle boxing in mixed martial arts, so maybe. So he got a few votes. Interesting interpretation. Um, animated Grandis Prime, uh, Wheeljack, Blur because of his speed, uh, Devastator. Now, of interest, and I did note this on my, um, on my notes, uh, kind of on my phone, I suppose you would say of, um, if I can find it here now, of, like, characters listed as martial artists. Apparently Alita 1 is a martial artist. Dead End from Beast Wars, Depth Charge, apparently is a martial artist. Um, um, who else? R.I.D. Heavy Load. Um... And, and for the record, this list is courtesy of the TF Wiki. Um... Uh, x Bron and, uh, I don't know, just one more, one more here. Um, somebody voted for Ryu, by the way, who, it's not really in the franchise, but I get it because there was a Transformer done of him. I think that Ryu, maybe, I don't remember which mold was used for it. Was it Titan's Return Hot Rod? I feel like, actually, Ryu might have been, might have been, um... A Voyager. I'm not sure now. I really don't remember. But anyway, there you go. We've got from 10 down to 1. We've talked about kind of a, a bunch of other votes. We even looked at some of the other martial artists in, in within Transformers. It was a bit of a wild list. It was a bit of a wild round of voting. It was a very different and unique, hard to interpret question. 
But the votes are the votes, and the votes never lie. I appreciate you guys coming by and giving me some of your extremely valuable time. I do know how important it is to you. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link. You can check us out on Patreon. You can see what we have to offer to you through Spring. Or, of course, you can hit the join button right here on YouTube at any time and become a channel member. <coughs> Pardon me. Hit the subscribe button. Stick around and have some fun with us. And especially don't forget that somehow, some way, each and every single solitary day, you right there, you do make a difference. And I look forward to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit, either in the live streams on Thursday nights at the stop motion premieres or the old fashioned way right here inside the videos.